I'm Leanne Thompson. The work I have in Eden Unearthed 22 this year is a piece called Transference. The work is looking at the exciting and amazing world which is below our feet. It's all about mycelium and it's about how plants and trees signal one another and share resources. So for years now I've been working in sort of an intersection between the landscape, um, people who work on the land, uh, First Nations people and plants, natural landscapes and I'm really concerned with the environment and I'm also really, um, really like to share the learnings that I'm getting together um, around land literacy and I think it's really important that we take our place in the hierarchy of life back down a few notches and we really understand that it's all interdependent and we're part of an amazing system. I've always made art. I have always made things ever since I was a little kid from just, you know, channeling water when it rained <laughs> to uh, went to art school in the 80s. And I think that I particularly enjoy bringing out of other people um, how rich creativity is. I think it's something that's latent in all of us. And if I can help to activate that in a wider population, more than just an audience looking at art, my, a lot of my works are about interaction and participation. Part of the work that I'm doing at the moment is very much about materiality. I'm trying not to buy new materials anymore and I forage. So that's part of living, of, of working with living systems is to actually see how important things like wetlands are in the environment to hold water and to clean water. So to go in and actually harvest those plants and then to use those plants in my work, I feel is a really important pathway to also teaching about how we can actually sit more sustainably on the planet. Um, and so working through workshops to help share that knowledge. Uh, with yachts in particular this year we'll be making, we'll, we'll be turning just plants into something which is string, cordage, and then that gets added into the, the work. The same way that plants all add into the system underground by the participation of the audience, adding in small extra pieces that they've made and contributed to the network is a, is a wonderful sort of symbolic gesture as to actually how the whole system works and our own place in that. I was offered some of the prunings from um, the plants on site. So most of the domes, well, the domes are made out of wisteria um, and the, interlinking uh, material has come from some wetlands because I've been doing work around hydrology. Um, so there's Kumbungi, there's Phragmites australis, uh, and there's some Juncus that I have turned into a continuous line, basically. So it's turning it through various techniques into, into rope or string. And then that has created the woven interface between the, the, um, the domes that you climb in and underneath and listen to what's going on. Eden Gardens is such a lovely location to come and work and do site-specific artworks. The place I've chosen this year is in amongst the poplar trees. So there was a few reasons for that. I wanted to have the courtyard creates its own nice intimate space, but also the fact that it's in amongst the trees is um, amplifying and sort of resonating with the idea of actually what's going on in root systems. So it's, it's to imagine actually what's below your feet when you enter that space. The trees are part of, of the work and the, the notion of, of how trees are actually talking and, and working together. They move resources between each other. And I think that's part of the beautiful ideas that can be shared through this artwork because with the workshops and stuff, they're the things that we'll be talking about with the kids is actually understanding that interdependent system that we can all depend on one another. We can all work in a common space and it's not necessarily about competition, but it's about symbiosis and how we all get together and help through mutual benefit.
there's a sound work to go with the, um, the installation. Talking about mycelium, that's going to be put together in a couple of weeks at a land studio camp that I'm doing with a range of people from Wollongong University. Um, and there's also the option for people when they enter the work to communicate with one another as well as listening to the sounds that are inherent in the work. And I will leave material on site and a couple of little QR codes. So if you'd like to come in and make your own piece of string and add it in, you're more than welcome to. It's very interesting having a daughter come into an art practice as well. I've been very busy out west, so she's been, she's taken over my studio at home. Um, so I can't even walk in anymore. So, but it, it is, it is really nice to be able to, to support her and encourage her. And, and when I was growing up, there wasn't that same understanding of what it is to have an art practice. I was told to go and become a secretary and um, my parents were very worried when I said I'm going to art school. So it's, it's really nice to be able to offer her a support and, and to talk around ideas with her, yeah.